Solomon's Vegas Adventures. What's going on everybody? Solomon here with another Vegas adventure. In this episode, we went to Jarbage, which is this gorgeous mountain range up in Northern Nevada. You won't even think you're in Nevada. Near the Idaho border by Elko. It's gorgeous, let's go. So for starters, the Jarbage Mountains are located way out in the boonies of Northern Nevada, just south of the Idaho border, about halfway between Elko and Twin Falls. And to get there, you're gonna have to drive miles and miles on dirt roads. And you will probably see cows, like I did. Uh, yeah, they're free range out there. Anyways, the Jarbage Mountains, they're located off the beaten path. And if you're coming from Twin Falls, you're going to have to drive at least 20 miles on a dirt road. And if you're coming from Elko, you're going to have to drive at least 50 miles on a dirt road. With that being said, though, in the summer, when weather conditions are okay, driving up the dirt road is totally doable. I did it in my CRV, and my CRV is by no means like a monster tire off-road trucking vehicle. So you could get up there in any mid-size SUV um, if you have four-wheel drive, even if you have two-wheel drive. There's a few hairy spots, but honestly, not too bad. With that being said, let's get into some of the natural history and other information about Jarbage. So the Jarbage Mountains are really at the northern edge of the Basin and Range province. Um, you know, they are not a long, skinny, north-south trending mountain range like most of the mountain ranges in the Basin and Range are. And that's because they're right at the edge, uh, right near the Snake River Plain, which is a geologic province in southern Idaho. Um, and the Jarbage Mountains are volcanic in origin. Uh, you know, they are tertiary, which means that the rocks there are very young, very recent. Um, in fact, the Yellowstone hotspot um, is related to a lot of the volcanic complexes in northern Nevada and southern Idaho, including the Jarbage Mountains. And that hotspot, it moved. Well, it seemed like it moved, but the hot spot actually doesn't move. The continental plate moves, so now it's over Yellowstone. But that was Jarbage um, about 12 to 10 and a half million years ago. Though technically the peaks in the Jarbage Mountains are plumehead rhyolites that are related to the Yellowstone caldera hotspot and not necessarily the caldera itself, but the caldera is on the northern flanks of the range. So that's Jarbage's brief geologic history. Now the flora and fauna of the Jarbage Mountains is really interesting as well and is actually quite unique in regards to that in Nevada. Now most of the trees that you'll see in Jarbage are actually more related to northern Rocky Mountain ecosystems than Great Basin ecosystems. So you have subalpine fir, Douglas fir, whitebark pine, and quaking aspen as the dominant trees, which are all mainly found in the northern Rocky Mountains rather than the Great Basin. So it's very interesting. Jarbage is right on that, you know, border between these ecological provinces as well as the geological provinces, so pretty cool. Now the wildlife you can find in the Jarbage Mountains is pretty unique as well in terms of, you know, that of Nevada. And you can find, you know, your basic mule deer, mountain lions, bobcats, coyotes, and, you know, other critters that are commonly found in Nevada. But you can also find moose, black bears, and wolves. Now, black bears and wolves have, like, officially been found and confirmed in the Jarbage Mountains by the Nevada Division of Wildlife. And moose, there's at least a hundred of them up there is what they say as well. So again, more related to that northern Rocky Mountain ecosystem than, you know, that of the Great Basin. In terms of the history of Jarbage, the town of Jarbage can actually shed a lot of light on the history of the area. So for starters, the Shoshone Native Americans actually had a myth about Jarbage, um, which I will get into later. Um, but in terms of Western, quote-unquote, American history, Jarbage used to be a mining town. Uh, you know, there was a gold rush back in the day when it seemed like there were a lot of gold rushes. A lot of people came out here, the gold ran out, and then the town just kind of got thrown by the wayside. Um, you know, it's the most isolated town in the lower 48, and about only 40 to 50 people live here now. So it's really just indicative of, you know, the gold rush and everybody leaving, um, at least the state of the town is. Um, however, I think we've talked enough geology, flora, fauna, and history. Let's uh, go on that adventure now, guys. Let's do it. So to get to Jarbage from Elko, it's pretty long. It's three hours, even though it's only 104 miles, though it is pretty simple. Just get on Nevada Highway 225, take it north of Elko for about 55 miles, and then turn right on the dirt road to Jarbage. There's a sign that'll tell you, you know, where exactly to go, and then continue on that dirt road for 49 miles, and uh, you'll get to Jarbage. We just uh, got here up the pass on the way to Jarbage. Take a look at this view. That's just... That's amazing. 
northern Nevada, Jarbidge Mountains. <sighs> Such great views. I'd also like to note that it's the middle of August and my car is registering at 54 degrees. It's the middle of August at about 1 p.m. here and it's 54 degrees. Freezing. Just driving through an aspen forest up here in Jarbidge. And I mean, this doesn't even look like Nevada. Look at how lush this is. Look at these lush forests. It's just, holy cow. We're about to drive through another aspen grove too. Jarbidge, Nevada. Wow. Jarbidge Mountains here in northern Nevada. And look at this valley. It's just gorgeous. If we look over here, see more views of the mountains. More views of the mountains. And then you've got hoodoos up here. Holes in the clouds. This is all volcanic rock. This is an old volcano. The Jarbidge Mountains are a huge old volcanic complex. And then if you look to the south, we've got Aegis right there, of course. So there's a lake down there. And those are all sheep that are just screaming. There they are. <laughs> it's funny. So we are parked here at Bear Creek Summit on the way to Jarbage. And uh, it's just gorgeous up here. I mean, look at this. This is a real nice alpine wilderness. You know, you got your quaking aspens, your subalpine firs, and your white bark pines. And just look at this. It's just, it's stunning. So uh, some interesting facts about Jarbage, the Jarbage Mountains. Jarbage, the town, which is down the road, we're gonna go see it in a bit is actually the most isolated town in the lower 48 United States, which is really interesting. And Jarbidge Mountains are the only place in Nevada where you'll find moose. So there are moose that live in these mountains. There's also been uh, wolf sightings recently, uh, rumors of a pack of wolves that live up here. I'd believe it, it's hella remote. And uh, they've also had bear sightings up here, black bear sightings. I also believe it. In fact, I think the Department of Wildlife actually caught a black bear from the Jarbage Mountains not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken. But we're going to go down and take a view and all that kind of cool stuff. So Jarbage is really cool. The mountains here are just stunning. I mean, this doesn't even look like your stereotypical Nevada. This is just wow. And it's actually freezing. Like it's the middle of August and it's 48 degrees. Uh, yeah, it's also the middle of the day. It's like one o'clock, one thirty. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 cold up here. It's freezing. Looking down into the valley that we uh, drove up, it's uh, it's gorgeous. You know, looks like there's a grave over there by someone's encampment. See those two crosses? Interesting. And somebody camping there, obviously. But yeah, it's real remote out here. And I mean, just looking back up at the mountains, it's just. It's unreal it's just it's gorgeous you know it's, it's just wow and uh as you guys can see you know the, the rock here is volcanic you know this is all an old volcanic complex uh which is really really cool so that was bear creek summit we're going to continue down the road a bit uh into the town of jarbage and uh some other cool areas so let's go all right guys so this is bear creek summit the summit that we were at over there turns out is coon creek summit but as you can see guys, just great views all around, lush forests behind us right there, back there, you know, all over here. Very, very beautiful. So the mountain to the left is Coon Creek Peak. The mountain to the middle on the other side is Silver Mountain. And that mountain right there in front of us is Copper Mountain, uh, according to this placard, the all-knowing placard. So, yeah. Making our way down the pass, driving not so fast, trees passing, we're camp bound. So we are out here at Pine Creek Campground, and this is where we're staying the night, right over here. Gorgeous, gorgeous campground out here in Jarbage, Nevada, and uh, that's the Jarbage River. So, uh, pretty dope. Here at Pine Creek Campground, just gonna walk up a bit, walk up 
the Jarbage River. You can just see these old growth subalpine firs, just huge, gorgeous firs. There's the river. It's so gorgeous out here. Like this is majestic. Down here at the uh, banks of the Jarbage River. So here's an interesting fact about the Jarbage River. We're actually technically no longer in the Great Basin because the Jarbage River drains into the Snake River in Idaho, which drains into the Columbia River, which drains into the Pacific Ocean. So we're no longer in the Great Basin watershed. Uh, we're actually in the Snake River watershed. And the Jarbage River is the only river in Nevada that has bull trout in it. And uh, bull trout is pretty common in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so real interesting how you can see the difference in ecology and uh, you know the difference in watershed out here. It's, uh, it's really cool. I haven't seen any trout yet, but I'll keep my eyes on the lookout for them. More on the Shoshone legend of Jarbage. Dun, dun, dun! Now, I would be remiss to not tell you guys about the legend of Jarbage. So the word Jarbage actually comes from the Shoshone word Jahabage, which means like a demon thing. At least that's what I read. And uh, in Shoshone myth, the Jarbage Mountains were home to a bunch of demons and real like freaky creatures, like, like uh, supernatural paranormal like monsters. Uh, apparently in Shoshone myth, they all like relegated them to some cave up here. That's Shoshone myth. And uh, it's an interesting little story about the Jarbage Range here in Nevada. I mean, it's so pretty that it's scary. So maybe that's what they meant. Maybe there's some truth to it. I also heard that there's allegedly a Bigfoot that lives in Jarbage. I don't know. I, I can't tell you guys more about that. It's just what I heard. But uh, interesting lore surrounding this locale. Going into the woods. More garbage river footage. Oh yeah. See with the life straw, you gotta sip in the little in the current. Yeah. And mosquito eggs are nothing because they have to land in pools like this. Yikes. Always uh, if you use one of these, always sip from uh, moving water. I sip way too much drink. <laughs> yeah. Salomon's Vegas Adventure on the Jarbage. There's fish in here, lots of them, but they're so fast and elusive that I keep not getting them on camera. Great views. Just take a look at this view, guys. The juxtaposition, the I river, the, right the trees, the mountains. Wow. I have the photo up. On to the town of Jobbage. On the way to the town of Jarbage, it's so pretty it isn't garbage. I just made this up off the top of my head, and I get money, boy, I count that bread. Uh. Oh dear, I just can't stop. I won't do it till I reach the top. Uh. Look at Bambi going in the woods, doing just what she should. I just made this up, I'm no good. But it doesn't matter because there's so much wood in this frame because I'm in the forest. I'm the best, you can call me Chuck Norris, Egyptian god, you can call me Horus. Oh my god, he's rapping for us. Solomon's Vegas Adventures out here. Look at these really, really, really cute deer. I think I should probably just stop here. The winters here are bitterly cold is what I'm told. So uh, yeah, but they have like a general store. They have a post office. They have a vending machine, a uh, tiny little gas station, a saloon and a hotel room. So, uh, Jarbage, Nevada. It's uh, the most isolated town in the lower 48. Very interesting place. That's all I can say. Very interesting place. This entire mountain range is very interesting. And, uh, the park right there, very cute. So that's the Jarbage Jail, and that's the Jarbage Trading Post and General Store.
and they have a random giant shovel. Pretty cool. Back to camp. So we encounter even more deer on the uh, way back, including a doe and her child. Um, I don't know what a baby deer is called again. A fawn? Doe, a deer, a female deer. Uh, yeah, I think it's a fawn. Yeah, there's the fawn. So cute. They were, they were great. It was, uh, it was really cool seeing this wildlife here, you know what I mean? There they go. All right, guys. So here's the scoop. According to local lore, there's Bigfoot that lives in these mountains. You call Bigfoot, you know what I'm saying? You like... <gasps> <gasps> So that's what Bigfoot sounds like? Kinda. It's like a man howling. I mean, I'm thinking about it, and, you know, compared to what people say, this would be the perfect habitat for Bigfoot. Don't you think, Eej? Yeah, for sure, Ski. Yeah. Sun's about to set. My boy is a legitimate grill master. Gotta hand it to him. Compliments to the chef, man. Look at this guy, he's a pro. You gotta enjoy it, man. You He's really a pro. Do. He's a pro. Let's go. And I just want to tell you guys, while camping, can't really make french fries, right? Here's your solution. Picnic original shoestring potatoes. Delicious. They look just like fries, and they taste just like fries. So, these are your fries, guys. Ah! Alright, guys. So, it is about sunset here in Jarbage. And, uh, tents right there. About to go to sleep. Uh, but it's a great place to come camp. Real remote. Real tranquil out here in the evening. Look down there. There's a wild animal down there. It's a wild human named EJ. The next morning. Downstream from Jarbage the town. Morning. So gorgeous. <laughs> And up here in the canyon, downstream from Jarbage, the town, we've got some real nice hoodoos. Some volcanic rock right there, just getting cut. Pretty lit. Just take a look at these ones as you listen to the river flowing. So the gorge is down there. It's part of the Jarbage Mountains. Jarbage Mountains. Jarbage Mountains, that high point right there is Matterhorn. And uh, we're on the Idaho Plateau now. It's uh, so gorgeous out here. We're on the Idaho side, but we're looking into Nevada. And you can tell that uh, that landscape, that mountain was extensively glaciated during the last ice age. You can see those glacial landforms. It's just so gorgeous out here, guys. Jarbage, Nevada. Highly recommend a trip out here. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. If you enjoy content like this, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other adventures right here. As always, guys, peace.